Agama Zuru ya Singa Bobo Wapwa Singa Agama Zuru ya Singa Miwe Kwere Mo Singa Lolo Kwere Mo Singa Abu Mugalo ya Singa Abu Mugalo ya Singa I remember everything I told you. That's my good. It's good. Between one, you should leave this kingdom and never, ever return again. Right. Let me tell you, this is a warning to you. Don't even come close to the palace or the prince itself. I am a Why are you being so insensitive? This is five million naira we are talking about here. Eh? I will return it to the palace. Huh? You will return this money to the palace? For what now? <laughs> My love, this money is too huge to be taken back to the palace. Why won't I take it back to the palace? The love I have for the prince is not for sale. I have so much feelings for him. I don't need this. You cannot be talking about the prince when I'm here. Say so. My love, let us take this money, leave this village, go to the city and start a new life. I, 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 don't, I don't like the way you're talking. You're talking as if you're, you're, you're selfish. I, I, have, I have practically taken good care of you. I have done so much for you. I buy you clothes. I I, I, I feed you. I put table on the uh, I put food on the table. I do things for you. Right. Now that you're supposed to to pay me back, you 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 you, you don't even want to think about it. I'm worried. You're worried about what? You see, for three days I've not heard from the prince. I don't oh know if Igwe locked him in the palace cell. I don't know where he is. Eh? I don't want anything to happen to him. He's a very good humble man. I'm talking about something very important. And you're talking about the prince. The same prince you and I know very well is supposed to get married to no other. And what makes you think he has not even gotten married to her already? That's a lie. And they decided to pay you off. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. People, oh. Don't come and confuse me with lies. How can the how can a, a whole prince of this kingdom get married and nobody knows about it? Only you. Okay, don't Have you asked me. yourself this question? Why he didn't come after you when they chased you out from the palace? I I I thought they said in Nigerian movies that when a poor girl is being chased from the palace, that the rich prince is going to go after her. Have you asked yourself that question? Please, Dima. Please, I am begging you. This is the only time you have to help me. Let us take this money and leave this village and start a life. Why are you holding the money like that now? In fact, let me go. Hey, 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 Biko. Please, don't, don't, don't come close to this money. Biko. Why are you? Please let me be. I want to be with my love. Please let me be. I want to be with my Funanya. The man is a blessing. That Chaco Shella will never come close to our son again. How were you able to do that? 
I paid her off with a sum of five million naira. What? Of course. Uh, did she call her the man? <laughs> Why not? Such a wretched human being. What do you expect? If that girl practically collected that money, then uh, she's a good miner. But is that why our son is starving himself to death because of a girl who has no feeling for him? <laughs> Did I not tell you that I know people like that? Such a girl is nothing but a gold figure. Of course I told you. Excuse me. I need to go tell our son that the girl is not worth dying for. That girl is nothing but a gold figure. Does it? Just when I thought that she's different. <laughs> You have to open this door now. I need you to freshen up. Come and eat. Alright? We've won. <laughs> now let me tell you son. You see the girl you wanted to marry. I must tell you the girl is nothing but a gold digger. Son as we speak. This girl is on her way out of this kingdom because I paid her off. A whooping sum of five million. What is she talking about? My dear Mark collected a payoff. Is that what I am worth to her? Of course she collected it. I heard a knock on the gate. A knock on the gate? Yes, did you hear it? Well, I've been standing here now. I didn't hear anything. I heard a knock. Come. I think I hate Dubem. Seeing the queen pay Dima off, I think she returned the money. Are you sure? I'm sure I heard it. That is the money she returned. I'm very sure about it. I have to inform the king about it. Seems to be. Dima, 
to leave this palace, then you must have a rethink. Stop me, young if you can. Go ahead. Stop me. Let me see you stop me. You think I don't know who you are? You think I don't know what you did? You paid Dima off with five million naira. That's what you did. Okay? And I will not let this pass. Who do you think you are, mother? Captain? Who do you think you are? You think you have won? Right? Okay. I am going to get Dima back and I will marry her. And none of you, nobody here can stop me. Not even you, mother. Your Highness, you have my permission to speak. Someone drop a bag at the gate, sir. What bag? A bag of money, my queen. I think Dima is back. Will you keep quiet? It's not possible. She can never return five million naira. Mother, I knew it. I knew that Dima was not going to accept that money. I knew she was going to return it. Lies. She is hungry. There is no way that young lady will reject five million naira. Do you know what that? Bring the bag of money. Quick. Shut it. I just want to confirm this. Yes. Open it. Oh! Miss Madam actually rejected five million naira. All right, she's going to see the worst of me. Taxing. Where do I go to now? I think I should go to my maternal place. But since my mother died, they've not been asking of me. What is even my crime? Because a poor girl like me is in love with the Jesus. Emma. Please. Are you? Are you okay? I've not eaten I've not had anything to eat in this. Okay, let me get you food. Food, food yes. Oh, 
throw this food. Wait, wash your hands. Oh, wait. Request for food like this is serious. Saying that the prince has locked himself up for three days without food or water. My son opened his door after three days and left to God knows where. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. You mean he has been on hunger strike and nobody told me about it? Why? I'm going to run that girl out of this kingdom, and she will realize that this kingdom belongs to me. Girl, what girl, my friend? My son left gold, went in such a dust. Oh, come on, mom. Please stop already. Haven't you done enough? Mom, please allow the poor girl to breathe. Please. <sighs> Princess Ivy, what girl is my queen talking about? Vivian, please stay here with us, OK? This is a royal family issue. So I would advise you to go back to your father's house and be useful. I mean, we wouldn't want this to get out. Wait. Wait. Did you just speak to me in that manner? Vivian, the last time that I checked, my brother did not make any commitment to you, did he? No. He doesn't like you. He doesn't want you. I mean, why is it so difficult for you to understand? Why are you finding it so difficult to accept it? As a matter of fact, you were among the seven medias that paraded yourselves before him. Did he choose anybody? No, he did not. So why are you being dramatic? What's with the drama? Hmm? My prince, wait, now, nah, Ian Kadiobo, why would you do such thing to yourself? I did it because of you. Dima, I love you very much. It is either you or nobody else. There is no me without you, don't you understand? But your mother is posing as a threat to her love. Listen, ever since I lost my fiancé and my unborn child to that auto crash, Life means nothing to me. Okay? There's nothing they haven't done for me to move on, but everything that my parents have ever done proved the bottle. The death of Alex really broke my heart. I'm sorry. It's okay. There is nothing my parents have not done. They even organized a royal parade where seven of the most beautiful girls in Amity Kingdom assembled for me to choose a bride. But no one was appealing to me. Your Majesty, the King of Amucha greets you. 
our beautiful queen, I greet you. The crown prince of Amuji, Prince Joss, I greet you. Our beautiful princess, I greet you. Today is a wonderful day in our kingdom. My young and beautiful ladies, you are all here. You see, you are here for something big. One of you might be the queen of this kingdom one day. So be at your best behavior and pray that you might be the chosen Why one. Is it me? Um, uh, Prince Josh, you can see all the beautiful ladies of this kingdom before you. So I wish you all luck and I pray that, as you are also praying, that the gods of this land bless you so you may be the chosen one. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish my son choose. Mm -hmm. I know, even the other one. Oh, the girl uh, with the uh, chubby cheek. Yeah. Uh, she looked like a Chinese. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey.
what you did back there. Mom, tell those maidens to return to their father's houses immediately. Why? Son, I'm asking you why. Why didn't you wait for the last person to finish? I do not have the patience for it. Mom, I am sick and tired of you and father forcing the maiden on me. I am tired of it. No! No one is forcing anyone on you. All we want is for you to choose a lifetime partner. All right? And the time is now. Josh, please. Do you love me? Of course. Good. Then you would wait for the right time. And I may find a partner befitting for me. And when the time is right, trust me, you would know. Because I would choose a bride just like I chose Alex. Please be patient. Stop doing this to me, mother. Now, what's going to happen to those girls back there? I'm asking you. What is. Now, what's going to happen to them? Those girls are the most beautiful and intelligent, smart girl we have in this class. Please. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. Mom, what you find interesting in a lady is not what I find interesting in a lady. What you find beautiful in a lady is not what I find beautiful in a lady. Really? Beauty is in it. And when I find that, you would know. Beauty transcends the physical and the facial reaction or appearance. So please, let me do this at my own time. Beauty, you say? Huh? Yes, mother. Beautiful. Now, why don't you make up your mind and pick up Onowu's daughter, Vivian? Ha! You don't know. All right, let me tell you this. She just won the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. <laughs> now, what else are you looking for? <laughs> and what's funny? What the... <laughs> well, mother, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you. Because Bibian is the ugliest girl out there. Yes. I'll return to my chambers now. Slow and steady, always windy rain. Remember, patient Jida, what do we do? It's the fattest day. Onye Jila Jita. No one knows tomorrow. Josh, what came over you? Help me ask him, honey. I wonder what he's doing. Could you please expose the meaning of what you did yesterday? Dad, I got sick and tired of the whole charade there, so I decided to return to my room for a nap. Every one of us, up, including I, Igwe Roland Uwozo, the Ezei Bia one of Amichi Kingdom. What were you thinking exactly? I'm sorry about that, Dad. Well, before now, I stated categorically that I wasn't interested in the idea of you parading maidens before me. Did I not say that? Shut up. Those maidens were carefully and technically selected for that event because they are most educated and most beautiful in Amici Kingdom. And before someone will say Jack Robinson, you just said it. Well, Dad, I will find a bride when the time is right. Okay? The same way I found Alex is the same way I will find her. So please, be patient. The earlier you all let my brother be, the better for everyone. Princess Lelo of this, and don't get me upset. I think we should respect my brother's decision. Mom, winning a beauty pageant has absolutely nothing to do with marriage. They are two different things altogether. Besides, Bibian does not even love my brother. She just wants to be a princess. Watch the way you talk, sweetheart. Come on, my darling. I wouldn't want people to misunderstand you by saying that you are jealous of her. Jealous? 
Mom, <laughs> did you just say jealous? Of who? Why? Bibian. That I am jealous of Bibian just because she is what? The most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Mom, the fact that she won that pageant does not make her prettier than every other person that contested with her. Mother, I am beautiful. I school in London. I'm a princess. So tell me, between me and Vivian, who should be jealous of each other? The name now is Solicito and her. I saw it since. That's it. Bro. Sis. Please do not let anybody put you into a box. I mean, you're not just the prince of Amici Kingdom, but you are the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. If you make the wrong choice of choosing a bride, I promise you, you will live to regret it all the days of your life. Sis, I wish mom and dad knew this because they hurt me each passing day they pushed the idea of me marrying Bibian. They should just let me be. Huh? I have a lot going on in my mind right now. I know. But I understand. But please, do not be in a rush. Just take your time, okay? That's exactly what I'll do. I mean, I can't even wish for my enemy to settle for someone like Bibian. A girl who sleeps with politician, men of timber and caliber, or in the name of winning a pageantry. To even crown it all, she uses that office to want the best of the mighty and how. Hmm. You know, there was one time one popular blogger carried the news of our illicit affair with the chairman of the ruling party. <laughs> I mean, the news was all over social media then. Of she traveling with her sugar daddies, doing all manner of things. The question, the need, and answer is why would mom and dad want you to settle for that kind of a person? Why? I still do not understand. I, I keep asking myself that question. Don't they hear? Don't they put their ears to the ground to hear what Bibian is all about? There was a time rumor had it that Bibian is the baby mama of one money bag. I don't even know what happened to that child. Either she aborted the child or she she sold the child. I had no idea what happened to that child and nobody in Amichi had an idea what happened to that child. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I'm damn serious, bro. I mean, I couldn't say much about it because I wasn't sure myself. I didn't see her during the pregnancy, but bloggers actually tag her a single parent. Hmm. So you mean no one in Amichi knows where the baby is? Not at all. No one, nobody. I mean, that's some sort of serious issue, bro. Do you have to budge on a prince like this? Bibian, this is a very unconventional way to budget on your prints. Why are you covering yourself? I demand an apology immediately. Apology for what exactly? For what? It will not cost you anything to be humble. Okay? Being humble doesn't cost you your self-esteem. I demand an apology for budging in on me almost naked. Almost naked, you see, right? But you have your robe on. In one sentence, just tell me why you're here and make it very short and precise. About yesterday, you stood me up and then I decided to leave me anyway, did that. Pibian, what has come over you? 
Are you here to seduce me? Um... <clears throat> My prince, no man has ever said no to me. I am the light that shines in darkness. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you that I'm the current most beautiful girl in Nigeria? As a matter of fact, I contested as Miss Anambra. And I outran 35 contestants from 35 states. Can you beat that? So because you're the current most beautiful girl in Nigeria, you have lost all sense of modesty and decorum. You are mannerless. You are very arrogant. You are rude. You are simply despicable. Get out. What? Get out. You, you asked me out of your goddamn room. You see why I said I would never have anything to do with you? I told you to get out and you're still asking questions. To get married to that spoiled braggart of the Onu daughter just because she is the most beautiful girl in Nigeria? See, eh, all they are doing is because they love you. They want to protect you. They want the best for you as the heir and also the crown prince of her. They want the best for me, and all they could come up with is that daughter of the Onu. That every man's girl. I don't understand. And you will not understand. You will not understand, but let's just leave it at that. Okay? I will not get married to that girl. It is you that I want. Please. So what is your sister, the princess, saying about all of this? My sister, Princess Ivy, she's the only family member who is in support of our love affair. Che. Dima, what are you saying? What are we going to do about this? I love you very much and I really want to marry you. I'm not joking about it. Your family are not in support. Please, I don't want trouble. Do you know I, I was almost running out of this village before you came? Why? Ha! Your mother sends one of the guards to my shop to give me the sum of 5 million naira. Ask me to leave this kingdom and they don't want me anywhere close to you. I even left my pot of soup, a goosey soup that I know how much I cooked it with. It was because you came that I had to stay back. Eh? I wanted to go to my maternal's home because I need to be alive for my dead parents. Though I returned the money because God knows that the love I have for you is not because of money. Man, I have to run on now. Dima, leave my parents alone. Face me. I love you very much. You are going to stay here with me in this kingdom. You will be my bride. You will be my queen. Just say yes. All I'm asking is that you say yes to my proposal. Happy end also. I will take care of it. Where has the prince gone to? Princess Ivy. We are the love of my life gone to do you know? <laughs> oh, Vivian, please, please. Please! Pico! Ha! What have I asked 
wrong. I only want to know where my husband to be has gone to, that's all. Can someone please talk to me already? Where is Prince George? Baby, yeah. Could you be in your best behavior? You saw the gloomy faces of the royal household when you stepped in here. What is this unorthodox behavior of? Your Highness, I've been here for past minutes. And I've been asking questions to know the whereabouts of the prince. And nobody is willing to talk to me. What is going on here? Can you keep quiet, young lady? I would have come for you. I kept quiet, thinking that you will at least compact yourself. Act like a good lady. No, here you are, talking like a parrot. And one more word from you, I will throw you out of this palace like a piece of trash. Hey, you better keep quiet. Queen Mother, to be honest with you, I don't like this whole idea of all of you not talking to me. Someone should please tell me what I need to know, please. Baby, yeah. can you just shut up? Shut up! Now what is this? asked you to step your foot in this palace. Now get out. She goes nowhere, mother. If Dima leaves, I leave. We are too connected to be separated. Did you hear that? He has the infantry to speak to me in such manner in front of a chakos. Yes, Your Highness. The prince cannot choose that that dirty thing over me. She's got nothing to offer him. What is it about this girl, anyways? She's she's dirty. I mean, she stinks. Hmm. You're just smelling. You are not saying anything. You are the king of Amici Kingdom. You have to say something. I need to return to my chamber to recover. Oh no! No! You must say something! I beg your pardon, your majesty! My king, you're, you're going to drag her out of the British chamber, right? Hey, my pet child, please! Squanny care! Rest! What is your problem? But you see those two? They are meant for each other. So let me advise you as my friend. Go back to your father's house and be useful. And stop adding twelve to an already existing five. Mom, please excuse me. You know what? I will go, but I will come back again. I'm waiting for you to yeah. at the end. Do your work! Rubbish! No sense! What is our mess? That will never happen! That will be over my dead body to allow those two together. Never. Mother! I'm surprised at you. Is this really you? I said, my son will never, cannot, and will not marry that girl. As far as I'm concerned, it's not going to work. Her Majesty, why are you trying to destroy what the gods have been doing? Can't you see that your threats is not separating them? Rather, it is making their love work stronger. Now keep quiet! Now what stupid old nation are you talking about? I will not allow that. I will go mad to terminate whatever there is left 
in that stupid thing you called relationship. Hey, and one more word from you, I will forget him the one that gave back to you. But mom, why won't you? Hey! You better keep quiet. Hey, Jesus. Omi, you could allow. Who thought that the prince of our kingdom, the almighty prince of this kingdom, will fall in love with a chaco seller like me? You couldn't even play this one, and I didn't to advice. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm so happy. Jesus. You! Do you want to buy chapel? Your father? Are you mad? What is it? Your mother? Okay, okay, what is it? Are you okay? Wait! You are you are you talking back at me? Huh? I like or in respect. It's like you don't love respect. Why are you talking to me like that? My mother, my father. Why, why, why are you being so disrespectful? Eh? Do you lack home training? I'm looking get my size and body. Imagine, imagine God. Imagine God. Really? See, let me warn you. The next time you see Prince, just do what? Pass! I do not want to see you ever close to Prince any, any, anyway again. If you try it, what I will do to you? You will not believe your eyes. Are you done ranting like a cow? Are you not ashamed of yourself? So this is a normal with Motoga. You left your house to come and fight for a man. And as long as you born your Are you stupid? See, don't you ever in your miserable life come to my shop to warn me again. Ichigo charcoal, I will attend to you, but if it's not charcoal related, stop it. See, 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 poor girl, I see guts. Are you kidding me? You're very mad. You're stupid. You're stupid. You, you are still talking to me. Yes, I will talk to you however I deem fit, and then you are. <laughs> 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 Congratulations to you, my daughter. Thank you so much, my dear. Go ahead. Please, can I call you mother? You are like all I have. I'll feel honored if you permit me to call you my mother. Please. Mm -hmm. Don't say no. Please. Please, Mom. Please. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. I am humbled. Thank you, Ma. You will live long. My God will continue to protect you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Mother. You have made me see life differently. I mean, after all I did to you, you still ask if you could call me Mother. I should be the one saying I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, son. This is the best I've ever seen. Thank you. Get up. Thank you so much, my brother. Get up. Thank you, my brother. Let me be the one to present her to my husband. Thank you. Thank you. Now come with me. Your Majesty, I present to you my wife. Josh, Your Majesty, the gods of Amici Kingdom, in their own magnanimity, will guide you in this matrimony. As you are my successor, so shall you have successors. You shall be fruitful in all your endeavors. I had a cool you boy, a cool you boy, catch a good girl, pay for your nail. But what are they? No, Odin John Nilo, he are not as if Odin John Azo, he no run Nilo. If I had a phone, yeah, Bob, I'm going to keep for a minute. If you Please let me be, I want to be with my love 